So I had a viewer ask me about my uh, Harbor Freight tire changer mod that I did, this little duck bill deal I made. And uh, I was pretty fortunate. I was able to be able throw it together with stuff I had just, you know, underneath my welding bench. It's nothing specific. You just gotta, gotta find yourself a piece of round stock that'll fit over your stem. Uh, this one, you can see my tape measure will work. Measures out uh, that. And I made it about, oh, yay long, 12 inches. This piece here, I also did at 13 inches. I wanted to make it long enough so that if I ever did a 20 inch tire, I could fit a 20 inch wheel on there. So, you know, you take half the rim. I can. Theoretically, I could do out to a 26 inch wheel, not that I'd ever do a 26 with a tire changer like this. And then, I just cut that, that's just a piece of two and a half, square tubing, nothing special. I notched it so it would butt up against that pipe and just lay a bead all the way around. Look at my awesome welding skills, yay. Uh, then I found a piece of square tubing, again, that. That would slide over the top, drill the hole in it, weld it a nut and a bolt so I can thread a bolt in there and that's how I stop it along that axis. You can see there different times I've used it. And then I did the same thing with this. I just found a piece of stock that would slide over another piece of stock, welded it up, welded this to that, drilled the hole with my drill press, welded a nut and another bolt with a bolt on top of it for a handle. Uh, when it came down to this, all I did was I went on eBay, bought whatever duck bill I could find. Uh, there's two different kinds. There's one for like a coat that just has a uh, single deal in the middle. You'll want to find one that has a two bolts. Or you could do the one in the middle. I guess it really doesn't matter. And then when I got it, I just took a piece of flat stock and traced around it top. Cut it out with my angle grinder, drilled and tapped the holes, and put two bolts in it. And welded it all up. And it's a little janky, but I tell you what, it's uh it works. This isn't my design by any measure. Um I mentioned in my other video, Lucid Auto Works makes one. I kind of stole some of the stuff from him. There's another guy called Bruce L. He did something really similar to this. I think he did a little bit nicer job than I did. He actually went out and bought metal, though. I just threw this together with what I had. And then I just spray painted it with the cheapest red paint I could find at Walmart. As you can see, it holds up super well. All right, I hope that answers uh, some of the questions you guys got. And if not, hit me up with another comment, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thanks. So a couple other things I got that uh, for this tire changer modification if that's what you want to call it um, was this just regular standard old tire iron um, you can pick that up at Harbor Freight for five bucks absolutely do it the other thing I got was this just a little uh, rim clamp uh, I think I got that off eBay for five or ten dollars and that clamp is just right on the rim and holds the tire down when you're spinning around um, I don't have a lot of money in the setup, guys, but as you can see, I've used it, and it works pretty good. Um, it is a bit janky, you know, but when you figure what you got into it, it works all right.